In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make and switch between multiple weapons like this. Uh, but if you haven't watched my previous video where I showed you how to create and shoot a gun with recoil and stuff, I suggest you watch it before continuing this video. Alright, so yeah, let's get started. So this is kind of where we left off in the previous video. If we hit play, we can show bullets and the gun follow our mouse position. But there is no way to switch between multiple weapons as we currently only have one gun. So for that, let's go back and we need to go under player and under the gun holder we have our AK-47 which has the graphics separated from the shoot point like you can see here. Alright, so in order to switch between guns, we need to first create more guns, right? So, in order to do that, we can just duplicate this AK-47 here. Let's call this M4. And also what we need to do is just change the graphics or this gun. And for that, I have pretty cool guns that I have in my sprites folder. So let's drag and drop this here. And also just rename this to M4. Alright, so our M4 is ready. But we also need to change the shoot point for this M4. Let's place it somewhere around here. Looks fine. And let's create a third one. So let's duplicate this. And we will call this one M14. And we need to re repeat the whole process. So let's first change the graphics. And also let's rename this to M14. Let's drag and drop this M14 gun and also let's change the shoot point so let's place it up here somewhere around here looks good all right so now we have all of our weapons and in order to differentiate this i'm just gonna go ahead and change the bullet speed for each of our weapons bump this up to 2000 and also let's change this one to let's bring it down to 1400 I Alright, so now we have three different guns. In order to switch between them, we first need to create some sort of weapon manager. So inside of the gun holder, we need to create a new script. We'll call this one weapon script, create an add. And let's open this up inside of Visual Studio. So first thing we will need to create is uh, an integer that holds the total weapon that we have. And we will default this to one because we will have one gun at the start anyways so the next thing we want to do is let's create another public integer that will hold the current weapon index for our gun so let's call this current weapon index all right now we will need to create a game object array for our guns and also let's create a public game object for the weapon holder so let's call this weapon holder and also let's create another game object for the current weapon that we have right now uh, let's let's just call this current gun all right so what we need to do is we will get all the childs inside of this weapon holder game object and just store them inside of our guns array so these all three guns will go inside an array of our guns so that we so we can swap between the weapons all right so now in the start method we need to first get the total weapons from the weapon holder game object so weapon holder dot transform dot child count so the total childs inside of our weapon holder and based on that number we will create a new guns array so game object array and pass in the total weapons Alright, and we will iterate through all of these weapons one by one. So let's put in the total weapons. And here we will just get through each child of our weapon holder and store them inside of our gun array. So let's set this equal to the weapon holder dot transform dot get child and give it the current index value. And of course the game object. Awesome. So now we will just uh, disable all these weapon at the start. So guns.setActive and we'll set them to false. 
and we will and at the start we will just enable only one gun so the gun at zero index awesome so this might sound a bit confusing but how we're doing getting the charts from the weapon holder and storing them inside of the guns array and setting them all to false and just enabling the first gun alright so that's all we need to do here let's save this and head back inside of unity okay so the first thing we need to do is drag and drop the weapon holder inside of this slot and let's just play the game alright so as you can see all our guns are added automatically from the weapon holder game object and except for the AK all other guns are disabled and now what we need to do is get the current gun and set the current gun index so let's go back and firstly we will set the current gun so let's set the current gun is equal to the gun at the zero index and also let's just set the current gun index so the current weapon index equal to zero awesome alright now we need to do the switching code so for that let's go inside of the update method and here we will check for some input so let's say the E key to switch to the next weapon and in order to do that we first need to check if we have a next weapon to switch to so if the current weapon is less than equal to the total number of weapons minus one because the array starts from index value of zero if that's the case if we have a next weapon then we will switch to it but first we need to disable the current weapon so the gun at the current weapon index we will set this to false and then we will just increment the current index value by one to go to the next weapon and then we will just enable the next weapon so let's set this to true awesome and we also need to do the same for the previous weapon except we just need to change a few things so we'll check if we have a previous weapon so if the current weapon index is greater than zero and we will just uh, decrement the current weapon index by one to get the previous weapon awesome so and of course we also need to change the key code to let's say q to go back to the previous weapon so let's save this and head back inside of unity and let's try this out let's see if it works as you can see here it says AK-47 and the current weapon index is 0 and if we switch of course the current weapon doesn't change because we uh, need to update it every time we change the weapon but everything else is working just fine we can switch between all the guns so let's just go ahead and do that right now so when we are changing the gun we also need to update the current weapon so we'll set the current gun is equal to the gun at the current weapon index all right and we'll do the same for this one here awesome so let's have this and head back inside of unity again let's hit play and as you can see we can switch between all the weapons and the current gun updates and we can also shoot the weapons let's try shooting different weapons let's see if it works yep so they all are working just fine now we can do is add some text to make the game look better let's hit play and yeah everything is working just fine but the best part about all of this is that you can add as many weapons as you want without changing a single line of code. So if we want to just say add another weapon here, I'll call this one, let's call this MOS. And we will change the graphics here. And also change the name here. And of course the bullet speed here. So let's change this to a 1200 looks fine and yeah that's all we need to do in order to add more weapons 
and of course you can change all the gun settings that I showed you in the previous video for each of the weapon. So yeah, that's all we need to do in order to add another weapon. That's it play. Yep, we can switch between all the weapons successfully. Awesome, so yeah, everything's working just fine. That's all for this video and if you like this, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you can, please support me on Patreon. That'll be a great help. And until next time, see ya.